tells me when one door closes, another opens. The universe provides a place to hang out in this space uh, in case the one door doesn't open when the first door closes. The universe also provides furniture in the area. Just a sort of bench, you know, not some super comfortable recliner I'm going to want to lie down in for hours. The universe also provides a book or two to read near the bench. You know, something by Shakti Gawain or Deepak Chopra or <laughs> Eckhart Tolle. The universe also tells me there is abundance. The universe isn't very specific about this abundance, so it's a little unclear if it's an abundance of love or money or even abundance of hate for that matter. The universe could provide an abundance of love to overpower the abundance of hate if it wanted to. I really doubt the universe would cook up an abundance of hate to overpower the abundance of love because that would be so not like the universe to fuck with abundance that way. <laughs> yeah, the universe could cook up all kinds of shit, whatever. The universe could send some guy down here with a bag of money for everybody here. That's not the universe's style. The universe is not Oprah. <laughs> a long time ago when I was having a hard time in fourth grade, the universe told me that Alina Goldblatt had a crush on me. And that was really helped because fourth grade sucked and just knowing that made it a little better. Alina Goldblatt is now Alina Masterson and lives in Grand Rapids, Michigan. She's married to Peter Masterson. They have two kids. He's a mortgage broker. She has a pottery studio where she teaches classes year-round. The universe didn't tell me that. I learned that on Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> now, the universe wants me to be happy. The universe really does want me to be happy. I am not happy. I'm actually pretty fucking depressed. And I don't give a shit what the fucking universe wants. I'm kind of pissed because the universe wants me to be happy and I'm not. This ethereal, all-encompassing entity that comprises everything that ever was, this thing is like, hey, I want you to be happy. And I'm not. And I'm like, thanks a fucking lot, you asshole universe. Now I feel even worse because I don't feel the way the whole universe wants me to feel. And now the universe feels sorry. And, in fact, the universe sent out a lot of bad energy, and that's why we have a stupid idiot for a president, and things in general are completely <laughs> shitty all over the goddamn planet. The universe really wants me to feel better so that in the coming midterm elections there's a surge of Democrats who will come in and impeach this fucking nut job and maybe the universe can set things straight again. I mean, I hope so, but I, I have no idea. You know, the universe is huge. There's a lot going on. Like 40 million light years away from me and my depression, there's something that's the exact opposite of un abundance. A black hole. That is consuming everything, and stars and planets are being crushed and condensed, and light and energy cannot escape. I think the universe really has its hands full with that shit. I can't imagine how the universe does it, but that's the universe's job. That's what it's supposed to do. In the middle of all this, the universe is telling me things are, or there's a hallway to sit in and benches and things to read and all that. The universe even listened to this monologue, too, and said it was pretty good. So. <laughs> the universe just tells me everything's going to be okay, and just, just despite how screwed up it is, everything's going to be just fine. Okay, fine. I just hope the universe gets the midterm elections right. Yeah. 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 Yeah.